The eastern coast of Central America Commercial and Agricultural Company was a failed British venture of the 1830s to exploit logging and promote colonization in a region of what is now northern Guatemala. History The company was set up as a project of Marshall Bennett, a mahogany trader operating in the region of Belize. From 1834 Juan Galindo was opposing expansion of British woodcutting interests in the area. Bennett diverted Thomas Gould, who was looking to revive the Poyais venture in a part of what is now Honduras towards colonization based on an 1834 land grant around Vera Paz, in eastern Guatemala. His own aims concerned mahogany to be found in the vicinity of the Rio Dolce. The Guatemalan administration under Mariano Galvez took a favorable line on colonization. The Eastern Coast Company produced brochures in 1836, and emigrants from London arrived by boat at Vera Paz that summer. A competing group, based on the investors in the failed Poyais grant, then intervened, having secured a further land grant from Robert Charles Frederick. Thomas Hedgecock, himself interested in mahogany from the Black River area, manipulated the Poyais revival, and the rivalry was expressed in a corporate raid on the Eastern Coast Company in October 1837. From this point onwards third parties were invoked, Francisco Morazan of the Federal Republic of Central America, and the British Colonial Office. The Eastern Coast Company, however, was forced to fall back on a reduced colonization scheme round Vera Paz. The Black River interests fell to a separate vehicle by 1838. In 1839, Peter Harris Abbott was brought in to head the board of the company. He was an accountant, who worked on reform in government financial administration, and an official assignee under the recent bankruptcy legislation. In that year, Bennett died. The Eastern Coast Company pursued its colony at Abbottsville, which counted 80 colonists, after a shipload of February 1840. The whole area was descending into civil war, however, with Galindo and Morazan being killed. Abbotsville was in poor condition at the end of 1840, and was eventually deserted. Abbott absconded to Brussels in 1841, owing large sums, and was declared bankrupt. Notes <laughs> <laughs> 